And yeah, we are. Yeah, we are again. I came here to tell you guys that it's game over. <laughs> uh, welcome to uh, another war. And uh, today, what we're looking at is Car X Street. Now, what? Where do I even begin? I mean, honestly, I mean, it's just, it's just an awesome game, man. Eh? Like, what? I'm kidding. Um. So we're looking at Car X Street today, guys, and um, I've got good news and bad news. And the bad news is we should trash this. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start off with the things that I don't specifically like about Car X Street. I just decided to do this review uh, today. I mean, I haven't done a whole lot of uh, review videos probably like ever but anyway I felt, I felt like you know what since I'm um, trying to sneak my way back into like the car driving slash simulation driving car simulation driving space I figured perhaps uh, would be a good time to start adding like some reviews uh, on videos and whatnot you know sorry games not videos but games yeah anyway uh, so car X Street uh, what, what 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 is car x street now car x street apparently from what i have come to find is it's a port from a mobile game so they ported the game to pc right now do they do a good job firstly i would say yes they did a good job the porting the game to pc yes they definitely did a good job but i do have things that i would like to stress uh that they hopefully work on uh, in future uh, to make sure that by the time that you out there that hasn't actually played the game plays the game you do not face the same things that we faced uh, so hopefully they fix all these things uh, with the upcoming updates and I'm hoping that that's gonna be the case anyway to start off with the indicators the cars do or well, the car specifically let me just say all the cars do not have indicators when i say cars i'm talking about the cars in your garage cars that you own they do not have indicators but the ai somewhat happens to have indicators which i find very weird and unsatisfactory i really wish they had added or rather implemented indicators for the vehicle drivers Excuse me. us specifically we want indicators me i want indicators when i drive and then another thing that i didn't like uh, about the game or rather I don't like about the game is the fact that I'm currently using a manual transmission like uh, the car's transmission is manual right so you can see me engaging the clutch and I'm changing into gear you can see that on the screen it's changing gears and going up and down shifting up shifting down shifting but the same is true for when I have not engaged uh, the clutch which sucks because now this is not functional for me if I'm going to be driving a car, I would like or I prefer to have a fully functional manual transmission gearbox. Please, I do not want to be able to shift or change gear if I do not have the clutch engaged. Does that make any sense? Thank you. I'm kidding. Um, but yeah, I feel like if you're going to give us a manual transmission gearbox, please make sure that whenever we're changing gears and we have not um, engaged the clutch, we shouldn't be able to shift into the next gear or be able to throw um, the shifter into gear or the car into gear. It makes no logical sense if the clutch is not depressed or engaged. We do not want to be able to shift if the clutch is not engaged. Please, listen to us. Please. Okay, and then what else do I not like? The mere fact that we do not have out-of-the-box support for this specific handbrake i don't know how many people have been having that issue with not being able to use their handbrake straight out of the box because it's not supported by the game perhaps i'm the only one i don't know perhaps there's more of us I'm, i would like to think that there's perhaps more more of us who do not have uh, out of the box support for our handbrakes and it's not just this brand because it's the universal brand i'm sure there's other people who can also say the same thing about their brands which is probably thrust master I, I don't know i don't know honestly i 
do not have all the handbooks, so I wouldn't really know who's dealing with what situation or facing what uh, issues with their handbrakes. But yeah, we do not have um, straight out of the box support for the handbrakes. Right now, I'm using an emulator software to be able to use the handbrake, but it does not help. So I'm not even using it at this point. Why? Because the physics, the drifting physics of the game are horrendously horrible. I cannot stress that enough. It probably has the not even probably has it definitely has the worst drifting physics I have ever encountered on a game I mean we have seen a whole lot of titles being released and yes perhaps some titles have got a lot of uh, people behind the team and some have um, less people behind the team but still i mean if you if, if you're going to be releasing a, a a car game or car driving game nowadays and you say that we are going to be drifting in the game we at least have to have good physics for drifting you know but this game has got very very bad drifting physics i've tried to drift and i, I consider myself to be one so, well heck i'm not even the only one who considers me to be one of the best drifters simulation drifters of course I'm, I'm, I'm kidding but um my point is I, i'm a good drifter no realistically i'm a good drifter you know um i'm sure you've seen my forza video if you have seen my forza video then you'll understand that i am a good drifter if you've seen some of my assetto content where i'm drifting you will realize that i should be able to drift on this game but i can't why because the physics of the drifting are bad it's almost impossible to shift on this game to be honest so that's one thing a lot of other people have been complaining about so i think they should also touch upon those things i would really really be happy if they actually touched upon those things you know but anyway uh as i said i'm hoping that they do um make some improvements uh with the upcoming updates and um yeah what else can i say about this game that's bad that i don't like I think I've already touched upon the AI. The AI does not even consider your existence. I don't think I actually had touched upon that specifically. But yes, it seems the AI does not um, consider that you even exist in the game. The AI just moves as if you are non-existent in the game. So you are literally a ghost. Maybe? Yes? Okay. Anyway, uh, I've, I've had a couple of races. Um, and uh, it's like every other turn or every other corner you take. It's like there's just an AI waiting to take you out and then of course the ai drivers that you are racing against um it's like they are brick walls those things are insanely hard to take out in fact it's, it's, like, it's like it's impossible you know but if they touch you even just by the slightest bump like boom right there you're done for you're going to spin out of existence and it's it's ridiculous the way that they they, they set up that system it's, it's it's honestly it's just ridiculous i think that these uh devs should actually look into uh sorting that whole issue out because it makes the game very hard to play and win and it's frustrating you know when you're playing a game but you're not actually winning and you're trying to win like it's oh my goodness yeah it's 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 it's, it's tough it's tough but anyway um i'm hoping that they look into all these things and resolve them so by the time that you guys actually decide to try if it is that you will decide to try the game you won't have to face the same things that we faced right so those are things that i don't necessarily like about the game and then things that i've noticed is the fact that i don't think these cars that they have here uh the car models are licensed uh simply because i'm looking at most of the cars that i've actually driven um it's like they don't have a brand logo on the car so it's just a car model without the brand logo and i'm guessing means that they do not have a license to use those uh, car brands and whatnot which is cool because we already get the idea right that's all that really matters and the mere fact that the car works and it moves and you can drive it and you can do whatever you want to do with the car well not maybe maybe not whatever but the most essential things which is to be able to drive and swerve and well not drift but yeah well anyway so yeah and then we have some upsides about the game which is the graphics being one of the first things that you will take into consideration i mean just look at the game yourself it looks impeccable the graphics are impeccable they're, they're quite good and then um the driving is quite uh the handling the handling is, is really quite impressive um they they did a good job on that 
and then we also have uh, the maneuvering physics just being able to maneuver swerving you know on the streets avoiding traffic it, it, it's good it's 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 um quite good specifically with the steering wheel settings like the way that they came straight out of the box just feeling amazing was quite impressive for me because you don't really find that nowadays especially with most games that are new releases even old ones well with old ones it's a different story but i mean with new games you would half expect that you'll have good control set of steering set, steering wheel settings and some of them require you to actually play around with the settings in order to fine tune it to fine tune the settings to uh suit your uh driving style you know but this one it came out really really well with the settings um straight out of the box there's specifically let me just say specifically for thrustmaster t300 rs gt for me it works it really really works as compared to um solar crown tdu solar crown you've got much more um settings there than you do have here but there you still have to play around with the settings and i haven't even found the settings that i'm looking for like it still just feels a bit wonky you know i feel like mm, no we're not there yet but here it's just you know what it works and that's really all that really matters for me specifically and then one other thing that i did notice is the fact that we do not have rain on this game i haven't seen rain for the past couple of hours that i've been playing this game i haven't seen it rain not once not once and maybe they decided to um, exclude rain which is not a problem at all because uh what we're here for is f the driving not necessarily rain and it, it's cool it works either way i mean we've got the day and night cycle which is important for us and it works and uh yeah it's just those things man it's just those things so what can you actually do on um car x street you can customize your car you can go to fuel stations top up your fuel your nitros and uh, well specifically talking about nitros i ish, i don't know man I, honestly i don't see the difference when i'm using nitros as opposed to when i'm just driving fast i don't feel like it's making a difference that's just me though it's just my opinion maybe you guys are seeing a difference but i'm not honestly i feel like but why do we even have nas you know it's just one of those things and then um yeah but um we also have the option to change the camera uh view on the steering wheel which is i find very important <laughs> i like that and then uh one other thing that i also noticed is the mirrors the mirrors are not working but that's not really um a factor i guess but yeah the mirrors are not working and then my favorite um option here is to be able to change a view of the car using the mouse right this is something that you do not find on uh tdu solar crowd which really sucks because now you have to find um a way to bind uh the camera setting the camera the camera the in-game camera in-game camera <laughs> Uh, to be able to do what I'm doing right now with the mouse but you have to do it with the key bindings um, on TDU SC which really sucks because the key bindings also don't work and then you have times two of a problem that could be resolved by just being able to use the mouse to move and look around which is just fluid and awesome you know that's what we need Make it easy for us to please just use the different camera view. And wait, what the hell is going on over there? Jesus Christ, it's a pile up. And it doesn't look like it's getting any better. But anyway, I digress. So uh, that's it, guys. I think that's pretty much it. For me specifically, I think that's all that really um, is bugging me with the minor issues. And I'm hoping that they do look into that and resolve all these issues in a timely manner before i go crazy and start killing people i'm kidding i'm joking that was a joke anyway uh let's take this uh car out for a spin and uh just so you guys can see how it drives and uh, the fluidity of everything on the streets and the crazy things on the streets anyway let's go i hope you enjoy the content as i drive and please guys do not forget to like share and subscribe please or else i will start